Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I think we're going to start on the uh, part two of the uh, brakes cleanup uh, on the uh, on my truck uh, and how I want to go about it. Uh, I want to do a color scheme, but I don't want to get elaborate either. I don't want to get crazy. Then what we'll do, we'll pan you down here and let you see. So basically what we got is, I went over and wire wheeled that, and you know, there's places in here where you can't really get to. Uh, I've got one more uh, way to get rid of that rust down in that in cracks. I got one more bit that might go down in there for my Dremel. And uh, we'll try to clean all that up. But I've got all that cleaned up right there. And we're going to paint it. And I've got the spring off of it. I'm going to clean it up with the wire wheel. And I've got the bolt to come off the back of it. Or the nut that comes off the back of it. I wanted to take all this apart and clean it separately. But this bolt is pressed into the sleeve that holds all of it together and there's a spring on this. Now I've had these apart before, but I'm not in one of the positions where I feel comfortable about banging that thing out of there or pressing that out of there because I'm afraid I'm gonna break something. Simply because it doesn't really have a flat spot here on the back side to work with, so it's gonna be pressing cockeyed anyways. So I don't want to push the boundaries and break this and then I have to buy a new one and I don't have the money to get it. So I'd rather just leave it the way it is and paint it the best I can. I mean it's going to be on the inside anyway but I want to slow down the rusting process so I have a longer time span to work with before I have to do this again. Uh, so we'll clean these up. And we're going to paint this. Now I took the spring out of that. And uh, it will go back in. But I'm not. I'm going to paint this a different color. Probably going to paint it red. Paint the spring red or yellow. I don't think I have any yellow. Nope. Although I could do uh, <laughs> purple. Uh, red is a little out there. But if my springs are red in my new kit, which I think they are, I might go with the red. In fact, I know I'm going to. Uh, that way we can keep all the springs matching each other. So, we'll paint that red, and this will get painted blue. Uh, the reason for that is... I have already painted the adjusters, the slack adjusters. I want to do one more coat on these. And I just wire wheeled it onto the uh, on the grinder, and then to paint the end caps, I found a piece of pipe that those would slide into, so that we didn't get anything on the threads, because they're going to be uh, anti-seize on the threads, and that'll help protect the threads too. And I have one on this side too. And I just stuck them in the pipe and painted it. And as uh, long as I keep it level, I'm okay. Same way with the um, things that goes into the end of the uh, wheel cylinders. Uh, we're going to paint them pretty good. We're going to get a good coat on those. Uh, 
we're definitely going to put a good coat on it. And I'll just stuck it in a piece of rubber hose, pushed it on there, and then pushed it onto an all thread and a rod just so I could spin it while I'm painting it. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this end blue. See, I wanted to take that off, and, and most of them you can, not this one. Um, the F-150s you can take apart. Uh, I wanted to paint this blue, this blue, and leave that stain, or well, it's supposed to be stainless, but I don't think it is. So because I can't get it apart, I'm going to have to make this match everything else because I can't paint it separate. And I'm not masking it off that bad. I'm not that worried about it. So this will be blue. Spring will be red. This will be black, the nut. And all the rest of this will be black. Clear up to here. Because I'm going to go ahead and paint that. That's steel and it'll rust. So I think we'll uh, paint that black. So that means that well, let me see something here. If I can get that cable to look good like it is, I might just mask it off. In fact, I think I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mask this off. After I get it polished. Alright, so now that we've got that nice and pretty, the cable, and smooth, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mask just the cable off, and then I'm going to paint, hang this up, just like that, and I'm going to paint this blue, and I'm going to paint this black, and I can do it in the same session, and we'll show you how to do that. So... I'm going to mask this off, and then I'll show you how I'm going to paint it. Alright, so now I've got it masked off, and this part here is going to get painted blue. This all is going to be painted black, and there's enough distance between here that I ain't got to mask this off to paint this. I'm not going to hit any of this up here. So, you know, I put my nut on it because I want it to be the same color. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to slide this or turn this so that the least amount Let's see, how's the best way to do that? We want to set, make it so that we don't, uh, we can get paint on the, all these surfaces that actually meet up while it's working. So, you see how that's together right there. These two parts are flitting, fitting together. And that part there is covering up that part. So, you want to try to find a happy medium where you're not going to be covering anything. So, it looks like... right there and right there I can basically get around all that 
you know, just have to be careful and do it lightly so you don't get a run somewhere. But because that is in that uh, orientation, well, I might still be able to paint it. Yeah, there we go. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to do the, uh, the spring first, just because it's nice and manageable. Uh, let me get something on my chair here. I'm not too awful worried about the saw because it's got so much dust on it that uh, as soon as I wipe it, it'll come clean anyway. Hey, look here, I, I'm doing this the wrong way, according to somebody. I think that's crazy, man. Check the damn thing up. It don't matter whether it's this way or that way. Uh, they don't last long enough for that to cause any danger or damage. So, you know, you do it both ways. Because all your paint is at the bottom of the can. So basically, you're just trying to get it all mixed up, and that ball, that ball is moving pretty good. It's not hanging up nowhere. So the worst part is getting the clear out of the tube now. So we're just kind of it looks pretty red. So we'll go ahead and I would be putting something on it to weigh the spring down, so I could get in the cracks a little bit more. But I don't need it to be that perfect. And once that dries, you'll put a second coat on it, and then that will be ready to install. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the blue part. And I'll show you why we're going to do the blue part. The reason we're going to do the blue part first is because I can take and hold this just like that and spray it. Or I can hold it like that. But we, I don't want to hold it like that because if I do, it's going to mess up my orientation I have going here. So we'll just hold it just like that right there. Did I get the wrong one? That's gloss black. Got the wrong one. Oh, here it is. So now that we have that part done, now we can hook it back up. And this time we're going to take a, another wire or hanger. Probably going to need a long one. I gotta find a better place for my hangers. And don't ask me, touched it in the wrong place. Did you see that? You didn't see that. Damn it. What do you think of that, man? I think I got brain tied. Alright, so now. We're going to take this, and we're going to get a shorter one. That was a little too long. That's why I have different size ones. 
So now I'll hook this up right there just to get it up out of the way. Alright, so now we can do our black. I had to make sure the camera was on. So now we're just going to lightly hit all around them corners or hidden spots. I mean, you just barely want to tap it. You don't want to spray it too much because you're get, you're getting stuff on the stuff that's closer to you, and you're not really getting anything down there really good. So you just got to be careful not to uh, try to get everything inside all in one shot. It ain't gonna happen. Now, once we're done and this is dry, I'm going to then come in behind it with black hammered. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of feather that black hammered into this area right here. And, and I'm going to paint all this side over here. And then, uh, well, like I said before, on this side, I'm just going to feather it right here. Because I don't want to get that real thick paint down in all this that's going to be working. Uh, that's going to be, uh, I'm going to put oil in there and kind of lubricate it so it works nice and easy. And um, we're just going to feather the hammered in this part. And then all this will be hammered, black hammered. It's got a different texture look to it. And it's a little lighter black than kind of towards the gray and and I like black hammer black hammer looks really good so we're gonna black hammer this whole side and the top of this bolt and everything so we're just basically detailing it uh, and it's gonna look like a brand spanking new one so we got a little more cleaning to do so uh, I cleaned up all the bolts that goes around the uh, around that thing, and what I've got to do, I've got to get me a piece of wood, and I got to drill me some holes in it, eight holes, well, sixteen holes, uh, evenly spread apart, where it's only halfway through the wood. Uh, and we'll probably use a two before or I may even do a three-quarter inch plywood and then I'm gonna put these down in it about a quarter inch into the wood maybe three-eighths and that'll hold it and then I'm gonna paint all these too uh, they'll be painted black just like this and the reason I'm going to paint them black it doesn't really matter what color I paint it, but I'm planning on getting some of those chrome caps like I put on my engine. I put uh, them chrome 
hex head caps on all the bolts around the intake and water housing and all that other stuff and uh, valve covers so I want to do the same thing to this I want to put chrome on it so I don't know if I'm going to do chrome or if I'm going to do um, I might do blue oxidized that would look pretty cool but I have a plan for my wheel and I don't know how uh, how good that plan is going to work that's going to be a surprise now that's basically uh, the way I approach things I like details uh, I like to pay attention to details because details is what matters uh, if you're looking at a axle and the hub and the drums and they're all painted the exact same color it's just blah you know it's just it's just plain simple you see it every day uh, I'm not looking for that look I'm looking for the hey this guy took his time and and did a really nice job doing this that's what I call the wow factor. I work hard for that wow factor. And I stress that a lot to, to uh, my own children. And uh, apparently they're not going to get it for a while. So I like the wow factor. I like to know that what I'm working on, the next person who sees it's going to be like, wow, that's cool. Like my motor, man. I love showing my motor off. It is a pretty motor. And one day it's going to be even prettier because uh, one day I'm going to have me a set of uh, valve covers for my truck. The Cobra valve covers with the uh, raised uh, fins on top of it and I want a matching breather um, the breather I ain't too awful worried about I can make a breather um, I don't like them chrome breathers uh, chrome breathers are just they look good for a while but once they start rusting, you just got to keep on them and keep on them and keep an eye on them. You, you just can't leave it for a little bit and forget about it. You got to just constantly keep an eye on it. So, because it likes to rust. And we have a damp area where we live anyway, so that doesn't help matters. Uh, you know, we got mold growing all over the trailers and it's hard for me to keep that truck clean under the hood. Or anywhere for that matter. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get off of here and let you guys uh, finish what you was doing before you started with me. And uh, we'll get a picture or two of the finished product once we're done. So, um, you guys have a good one. Later.